Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Do Not Disturb function on your Android phone. There are a lot of reasons why you'd want to use this. A few I can think of are trying to sleep, trying to take a test or study, or maybe you're building a giant card tower or Jenga tower. You don't want anything to disturb you and knock that thing over. On your Android phone, you're going to open up the Do Not Disturb function by going to your settings. So you can swipe down. Um, you can actually see that it's in my quick settings up top, so it's right there. I can just click it to turn it on, or I can long hold on my Pixel 7a, and that'll open up all the different settings in there. If it's not in your quick settings, another way you can do it is to go to your settings down here at the bottom, and under notifications right there, you'll scroll down, and you can see do not disturb right there. So there's a few ways you can do it. One pro tip is if you're in your quick settings up here and you don't see the do not disturb option like I do on mine, but you want to see it and you want to have anything in your quick settings, you click the pencil icon right below and you can see the list of all the different things you can put in your quick settings. So let's say I wanted to put mic access in the quick settings. I could hold that and just drag it up here and now it's in my quick settings. But back to Do Not Disturb. Right now I have it turned on, which means essentially I won't get any notifications, someone tries to call me, text me, an alarm goes off, I won't hear it. It'll just be all kind of silenced and, or muted. But there are settings in here where you can schedule the Do Not Disturb. You can have exceptions from different people or different apps. So if, you know, your spouse or significant other, whoever is trying to contact you, you probably don't want to be on Do Not Disturb. You know, you might want to receive that text or that call from that person. I know I would. So to change your settings in the Do Not Disturb app here, um, you can select people up top right there. So you can say who can interrupt you. For me, it would be my wife, my mother, my kids, you know, people that are important in my life, that they can interrupt me even if I'm sleeping. If there's an emergency, I want to hear from them. So you can click Messages, and then you could select Star Contacts, or you could go through all your contacts and select certain individuals that can interrupt you at any time, even if you have Do Not Disturb on. So that's one thing you can do. That's People. Now you can have certain apps. So if you have a digital well-being app, which I do, that can interrupt you. Maybe it can tell you, oh, it's time to get up and walk around. Maybe you've been concentrating, studying too long and you need a break, things like that. Or you can just go through and click add apps. All your apps will show up. You can pick any of them that you're okay with if they bother you, ping you, notify you, etc. So that's on the apps. There's alarms and other inner, uh, alarms and other interruptions right there. So you can have alarms, media sounds, touch sounds, reminders, calendar events, those pop up. So you might have a really important calendar event and you're like, hey, I want this thing to wake me up. So you can pick that particular event and have it wake you up or disturb you in, in whatever way. You can schedule your Do Not Disturb app to go on or off at certain times. Maybe you have a sleep schedule. You're like, every night I go to bed at 10, I get up at 6. I'm okay with this thing bothering me if it's before 10 or after 6, but anywhere in there, I want to sleep soundly. So you can use your schedule. You can schedule it around certain events, on or off. There's a game dashboard you can use. There's a bedtime mode, which I have on currently. On the bedtime mode, you can use certain schedules or you want this thing on or off. So you can have your certain bedtime. You can also have it so when you plug in your phone, the Do Not Disturb com comes on automatically. So I put mine to turn on while charging. At bedtime, I plug this thing in, it automatically goes into Do Not Disturb mode. I also leave my phone in the bathroom because I'm like, hey, I want to sleep away from technology, not be interrupted. And then you can customize all this here. You can see some different options. It says Do Not Disturb for bedtime. Screen options at bedtime, you can have a different modes, wallpaper, etc. It says a grayscale, keep the dark screen, dim the wallpaper, dark theme, all sorts of cool things in there. So for your own digital well-being, I recommend using the Do Not Disturb function. Go in there, play with the different settings, customize it for you personally, 
and get some rest or take a walk or study, you know, whatever you want to do away from technology. But when you're back, you're back. When you're away, you're away. I hope this video is helpful for you. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you like the video. And we'll see you again soon.